Hello, my name is Dr. David Allen. I'm a retired cardiac surgeon and a member of the International Cannabinoid Research Society, ICRS. That means I'm a cannabinoid research scientist. And uh, I'm here to tell you about the discovery of the endocannabinoid system, the ECS, and uh, the significance and how it was, will change medicine. And uh, we discovered the endocannabinoid system about 30 years ago and we really didn't understand the significance of its discovery and so uh, we we found out that this is a chemical communication that your body has it's not electrical it's chemical and it's kind of like uh, the hormone systems that that people are familiar with and your body makes these uh, cannabinoids they're endogenous so they're endocannabinoids and they uh, perform some miraculous uh, functions in the body. And we're just learning the significance of these, of these functions. And basically, uh, the endocannabinoid system is responsible for homeostasis. Most people don't understand what that really means, but it, 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 it's, uh, it's the body's ability to maintain itself and function in the proper environment. And so it's, it's critically important that, uh, that doctors in the future understand this control mechanism. And we're finding out that, they, uh, that manipulation of this endocannabinoid system will control diabetes, it controls cancer, uh, it controls whether you can survive a heart attack or stroke. And so this is uh, uh, critically important for doctors to understand this new science and uh, the discovery of the endocannabinoid system is the single most important medical scientific discovery uh, ever and will, will save more lives than the discovery and application of sterile surgical technique. And I'm a heart surgeon saying that. So more people will be saved by uh, manipulation of the endocannabinoid system than are currently saved by, by surgery. And so we found out there's studies that if you use cannabis for, for 20 years or more, just smoking cannabis, that it uh, decreases the incidence of diabetes by 66%. There are studies that show when they uh, specifically stress beta cells of the pancreas to try to kill them by oxidative techniques, that if you use cannabinoids, it, uh, it protects the cells from this oxidation. And so, so really what this means is, you can use cannabis and decrease the incidence of diabetes by 66% or more, maybe if you, use it, if you use it other ways, if you eat it, and your doctor currently can't give you any medicine at all that decreases the incidence of diabetes by even 2%. So this is a miracle that cannabis does this, and uh, it means that you, your use of cannabis will protect the beta cells of your pancreas from oxidation. That means basically all cannabis use is medical, regardless of whether you understand the science behind this or not.